You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. I have a uh, frequent flyer on Greater Brockton, Lynn Smith. Hi, Lynn. Welcome, Good to see you, Mike, back. again. Um, we're in the beginning of June, but there's a July 1st event, and we're going to promote it ahead of time. It's the public reading for Frederick Douglass mm -hmm. that happens in the Frederick Douglass Park. Right over on Frederick Douglass mm -hmm. Avenue, which mm -hmm. used to be High Street, if you're an old timer like mm -hmm. me, um, near the site, the former site of the Liberty Tree, although there's a little greenery growing out of that. Yeah. Um, the public reading, I went to it last year, we recorded it, and there were different people and different uh, languages, all walks of life over there. It was a great event, you're doing it again. Yeah, it's, it's really heartwarming, you know, that little community garden, that Frederick Douglass community garden, which is in back of Messiah Baptist and in back of the Firestone um, Car Care Center, was an abandoned lot filled with junk. And a member of Messiah Baptist bought it, and they let us go in and clean it up and clean it out and plant flowers in it. And now the community garden is being used for a variety of things. Messiah Baptist, I think, is going to have a couple of poetry events in it as well. Oh, okay. But we're starting early. This is our fourth year reading Frederick Douglass's speech, What is the Fourth of July to the Slave? He gave the speech because he basically said to his audience, how can we celebrate America's independence and freedom when some of the people who live in this country don't have independence and freedom because they're slaves? It's 45 paragraphs, the speech, and it's especially important now because 2018 is the 200th anniversary of Frederick Douglass's birth, and Brockton is part of the Douglass Bicentennial. And we're receiving nationwide attention for the programs. Remember, we brought that actor in who yes. did a whole evening as Frederick Douglass. So the speech is 45 paragraphs, and people typically will come and read one paragraph. It takes about a minute per paragraph, so it's a 45-minute. And Mass Humanities, who is our funder, funds 10 or 12 of these readings across the straight state. But Brockton is the only community that includes our diversity in the reading of the speech. Mm. And we invite people to come and pick a paragraph and read that paragraph in the language of their ancestors or their family. And so we're starting a little bit early for our July 1st event because we want people to call me, 774-381-8050, or email fdnabrockton at gmail.com. I'll send you the speech. You can pick a paragraph. Remember when we were kids, we hosied a paragraph. Right. You can translate it into a language that you grew up with and then come on July 1st at 4 o'clock and read it in that language. The people who will be there will have the speech in English, so everyone will be able to follow along. But it is very powerful, Mark. It's unbelievable when you see so many people from so many backgrounds reading in so many languages. And you also have Good Samaritan as a sponsor. Good Samaritan is sponsoring us as well. So the grant funding comes from Mass Humanities, the seed funding, and then Good Samaritan, they're celebrating their 50th anniversary of founding this year. So this is one of the community events that they're sponsoring as part of their 50th anniversary. We had last year, <clears throat> I hope I remember, we had Greek, Gaelic, Haitian Creole, Cape Verdean Creole, Polish, Lithuanian, Mandarin Chinese, mm -hmm. Spanish, English, Italian. I'm sure I'm forget. Did I say Greek? You did. Okay. Well, I think we had 10 or 12 last year. So this year we're trying to get someone to come and do it in Yiddish. I have on. someone from the Brockton City uh, Democratic Committee whose native language is French. He's from Montreal originally. Okay. Okay. He's coming. And we're talking to the Commission for the Deaf to get someone to come and do it in sign language. Oh, good. So wouldn't it be amazing if we could get up to 15 or 16 languages? I always go for one more year as we go up. Yeah. We, we do our our, our um, One North Main show, we always go for one more. We're up for th we're trying to do 39 yeah. this year. We're going to go for 40 next year. And you know what's amazing is the kids that come, and even the kids, even though reading with understanding is a little tough with this speech, they'll give it a go because then after we read the speech, 
we have time for a community conversation. You know, this speech includes things like, you know, the, the oceans are shrinking and it's easier to travel and we're a global community. It includes things like the wings of the American Eagle are broad enough and strong enough to shelter all who come here. It, it includes a lot of themes that we are struggling with even today um, in our democracy. And so we have a conversation about that and we share that information. And then, of course, you know me, food is always involved. So we have pie, pie, pie with real whipped cream. Yep. And you're also doing an ice cream social the end of August. Well, too. yep, in August, the day after Summerfest. So Summerfest right. is the, the 18th. 18th. And we have our Sunday ice cream social in the garden. The kids try out Tai Chi. They try out yoga. We do a history walk of downtown to show them the little new Liberty tree that's growing up, talk about the Underground Railroad, James Edgar. And then we come back and we have games and music, and then we have hot fudge sundaes. Can't beat that. I'm trying to get back to my original weight, nine pounds, 13 ounces. Oh, it's not no, it's not, not, not with the real ice cream and the real whipped cream. It's not going to do it. So um, I know Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association is a group of volunteers. Mm -hmm. Okay, nobody gets paid. Correct. Okay, are you looking for more reinforcements and help, people that want to help? You know, we're always looking for people to come and weed for a couple of hours in the garden, or Firestone lets us um, hook up a hose if you'd like to come and volunteer, you know, an hour in the morning to water the garden. We're looking for people. We went through the process and we filed as an official nonprofit, so we're recognized by the IRS as a not for profit. Um, entity, which means that tax... So someone know, donates something to you, they, they can get it. They may be eligible for a tax donation depending on their individual. But yes, we're always looking for people to help in the garden, to help with events, to come and read. Bring your kids to this um, mm -hmm. to read because it really creates a wonderful sense of community and it's a wonderful way to showcase Brockton's diversity. We're already on the Mass Humanities blog. We're the only city who yes. does this. Come yeah. on. Yeah, I know. I've seen I've seen it. Yeah. I get there. I signed up for their list. So keep doing all the good work you're doing with others. There's Thank a whole you. group of people doing it. And you'll be back and we'll update on other good things. Perfect. That are happening. I will do that. Thanks, Lynn. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for Mark. being here. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.